Welcome to EdTech Du Jour. I'm Dr. Melissa Callback. And I'm Dr. Heather Formagus. And today for our main course, we'll be talking about student retention in the online space. Well, that's an important topic, obviously, because I've read some research indicating that it's 10 to 20 percent higher um, attrition in online courses compared to face-to-face -face traditional courses. So retaining your students online is a key issue in many online programs, so we're going to be discussing that. One of the first things you can do as an instructor is to make a good first impression. You only have one chance for a first impression, so if you kind of mess it up in the beginning, you kind of have to work really hard to redeem yourself. So what have you done in your online classroom as far as a first impression um, activity? We've talked about before having a solid introduction video mm -hmm. and just welcoming the students, setting expectations, letting them know how to be successful in your course, and also just being present. I mm -hmm. think that's a pitfall that some people teaching online fall into. They think, oh, it might be easier. I think some students think that as right. well. In my experience as a student and an instructor, it requires a lot more dedication and you have to really be in your course every day. I've sent welcome um, emails out. So besides an announcement in the learning management system, some students may be uh, not comfortable with that just yet, or this may be their first online course. So besides sending um, an announcement out, I do an email message to all of my students, welcoming them into the course and how we're gonna be learning together and just kind of setting the tone. So I think it's important to do that. You also touched on instructor presence. That is a huge component and research backs it up saying that one of the key concerns in online courses is an instructor presence um, and having that interaction and being available in that course, maybe having virtual office hours, responding uh, not days later, but you right. know, pretty close to the time that they're answering within 24 to 48 hours. So those are the types of things. Um, having instructor pre presence is really important. Also constructive feedback uh, with recommendations for students. So students just don't want to, oh, here's, here's your paperback, you have an 88. Well, what does that mean? So having rubrics, and I know uh, you've used rubrics before and giving samples of like a mediocre and an exemplary assignment also right. have helped. And I think using iRubric, it's a free rubric tool. Mm -hmm. um, just streamlining the grading process within your courses. Mm -hmm. And also remembering who your audience is, that you're teaching adult learners. So exactly. being current on adult learning theories as well. And another key uh, piece in retaining students online is communicating with them. So you're going to want to let them know, okay, if you submit a discussion board response or an assignment that's due that I will get back to you within 24 to 48 hours. So you want to have that established in the beginning of your course so students understand, oh, I turned it in. How come I don't get an answer right away? Because everything in this virtual world is so instant, you know, gratification. Yes. Oh, I got it. What, what's my grade? And you're constantly checking, you know, as a student, that's been my experience. So just kind of establishing your communication and how, how that'll be. Will it be in email? Will it be in text? Will it be through the LMS? How, how will you communicate with your students? Maybe an assignment acknowledgement. I received it. I'll be grading them within a week or something like that. And even the discussion board. So it's important to keep that communication constant. So students feeling like they are an asset, um, that is key too, because sometimes students can get lost in the network of things, um, not understanding maybe how to do something or um, just kind of getting lost in the fog sometimes. They get busy with life. So having the students feel that they are an asset to the course is really critical, I think. So having any kind of like collaborative activities so they feel like they're a key component, what's been your experience? I think that's true and also building community and mm -hmm. providing opportunities. Um, in some platforms I teach in, Canvas for instance has Collaborate. So there's a built-in tool for students to collaborate with mm -hmm. each other and also just making the students know that they're being heard, and mm -hmm. I think part of that is communication. And really, it's everyone's job to help with student retention. Sometimes people think, oh, that's you know maybe the registrar's job, and somebody's supposed to reach out to them from whatever uh, mm -hmm. part of the college. But really, the professor has the strongest impact in sure. student retention. You're exactly right, Dr. Kolbeck. You have the biggest connection right. as the instructor. You know, So letting the students know that they're missed. It's, hey, I missed you in that discussion or that tweet chat that we had, and I hope, hope, hope all is well. Just doing the kind of check-in with them. And obviously, uh, incorporating adult learning 
principles and strategies in your course where you, you mentioned earlier, we are teaching adult learners. So right. it's not like, okay, gold star for you. You have to really respect um, that they have other things going on in their life. They're working full time in a life and kids and whatnot. So, and they're, and they're doing this to improve themselves. And an important distinction is mm -hmm. that online it's self-directed, not self-paced. Mm -hmm. Right, that, that is very important. So when you are uh, doing collaborative learning, in the um, online management, online learning management systems, it's important to kind of do those types of projects so students have that sense of community and they don't get lost in the in the mix. So hosting live webinars is another way to keep your students engaged and retain students online. So oftentimes, instead of you leading the class every week, you can pull in an, an expert in the field and have them, hey, I have so-and-so, there's an expert in the field, and we're going to do a live webinar. And just kind of incorporating those engaging activities and tying them back to the student. And we mentioned this earlier about identifying students that are at risk. So if you're noticing a student that's becoming disengaged, not communicating in the discussion board, not turning assignments in on time, constantly late, things like that. So those are the types of things that you're going to have to reach out to your student and because um, you do have that main relationship with them. Absolutely. And identifying the early warning signs for mm -hmm. students that could potentially be at risk mm -hmm. is a huge responsibility. Right. And part of identifying that is helping them establish their goals. So in the beginning, you're like, what do you, what do you want to do? What do you want to get out of this course? I, I do that in my first week discussion board. Like, what right. are you looking to get out of this? What are you looking to accomplish? And kind of guiding them through that process. And also involving faculty with the online student retention component. So oftentimes, they're the ones that are connected to the student the most. So getting feedback from other faculty members and what they're doing and collaborating as a, as a cohort to improve online student retention, I think is key. And even having a peer review of your course before you go live from your colleagues. Mm -hmm. So all of these uh, resources and strategies came from a faculty focus article, a dozen strategies for improving online student retention. And up next, we have our coffee talk segment where we interview one of our academic services team members. So we'll see you soon.